Borla, welcome back to the Incisive Channel. We're again playing Professor Layton on the Curious Village. So, we're gonna go back to immediately where we left off. So, we need to talk to Matthew first, because we haven't talked to Matthew in the last episode. Matthew, did you notice there's any strange characters around the man at the time of the incident? Not at all, I'm afraid. I, I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chalmy showed up. And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after the arrival. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Ah, but you know, we found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. What is this? I'm sorry to say, but I have no idea. But I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing. It's a cog, small but one... Amazing. It's a cog so small that one could certainly really miss it. Look, it hasn't been grieving. Hmm. A small cog? Now, that you mention it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What? Are you joking? A puzzle? At a time like this? Well, puzzle solving is our expertise, so you know. Find the dot. You are holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. If you hold the shape so that the red dot is in position shown in diagram A, uh, and flip it over, you'll see a black dot as, dis as depicted below. Now, assume that you are holding the shape as shown on the left side of the diagram B. Where will the black dots be when you flip the shape over? Draw a circle around where you think the black dot should go. Right, so here... We flip it over, and it's there. Right, so it's on here, and we flip it over, it's there. So, it is the second to the right, so it's here, and when flipped over, it'll be there, so it's gonna be there. That should do it. It is not. Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. Focus on the relation between points on the black front and back side of the shape. Hmm. So we move it one, two, three. Here, yeah, so we move it three times. Doing that, please hands that way. One, two, three. Move this, please hands that way. So one, two, three. So there. Hopefully, the right there place. We go. Hey, we got it. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right, take a look at the diagram for a good explanation. So when it's there, it's there, when it's there, it's there. Makes no problems. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything we've worked with A during investigation. Not at all, this small cog is more than enough for us to go on. But I do wonder what, why you're giving this to us. I believe you are a good man, Professor. I am confident you will piece together this puzzle. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. You got a strange thing. No. You have a mystery. So... A small cog with an in intricately carved insignia was recovered from the scene of Simon's murder. Perhaps the murderer dropped it when fleeing the scene. Alright, we'll talk to the Chalmy here. Is this everyone who was present at the scene of the crime? I believe we are missing Ramon, sir. Ramon? 
Where is he and what on earth is he doing? He must be infectable at once. Uh, to be honest, my lady, think about it, I've never seen him for a few hours now. Uh, what? Don't tell me he was murdered as well. No, hold on a moment, he's a suspect too. Perhaps he fled the scene of his crime. Where could he be at a time like this? What if the murderer got through Mon too? Right. Let's move out. Hello. Yes, Professor? There's something I'd like to discuss with Lady Dahlia. It shouldn't take very long at all. Uh. Who do we talk to now then? Oh, we found a hit coin. Is that an airplane sounds? I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's airplane is flying up today, so. Poor Simon, murdered right here. I'm absolutely terrified. Bring this criminal to justice, I beg you. Right. Hey, where did Lady Darling go? Wait, what? Hey, where did Lady Darling go? I believe our lady has retired to the adjoining room to unlock to the room. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she need to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well then. Would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her? But of course, Professor. Please wait here. Lady Dahlia, I might have to like an ice cream, but I guess even she would. She was shaken by today's events. Luke, if you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologise. That was wrong of me. Uh, my lady will see you now. Just her head back through the doorway on the left. So this doorway. Let's speak to Lady Dahlia. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the Golden Apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable the two masters are linked. Do you think that Amor is somehow involved in all this? Potentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see. If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find him and bring him back here to me. It tickles me that I'm being considered a suspect in this group of crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dalek, we will ask around the to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well then, I'll be waiting the good news awaiting the good news in the parlour. Chapter 3, The Missing Servant. Comb St. Mystery for clues about Ramon's disappearance. Save progress? Yes, please. Right then. What a little face. Oh. There's another puzzle, I believe. Or something. Hmm. Oops. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. That baby must be Baron Reinhold's daughter, then. Flora was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Flora! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Flora? She comes on later in the series. So, this must be the Flora that we know later on. Either in the game. I don't know if she's in this game, but I know she's in Pandora's box, so I just completed that. Brilliant ending, by the way, I will be on the channel. <laughs> Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? You know, Luke, they say that true beauty never ages. <laughs> I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. First of all, we need to find Ramon. Oh, come on, Chami, what are you doing now? By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear you're something of a puzzle con 
Carlos Her. I don't know how to say that. This puzzle was popping around there when I left. I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Five suspects. The f five suspects are called into police headquarters for questioning. They gave the following statement. One of the five of us is lying. Two of the five of us is lying. So A says one of the five of us is lying. B says two of the five of us is lying. C says I know these guys and three of the five of us are lying. I know these guys and three of us, five of us are lying. D says don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. And E says all five of us are dirty rotten liars. The police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? Ooh. So let's recap. Let's recap. So A says that one of them is lying. So let's say that A is a liar. Let's say that he's saying that he's lying. B says two of the five of us are lying. So let's say B is basically saying that he's a liar as well. C says I don't know. I know these guys. The three of the five of us are lying. So let's say that C is saying that he's a liar as well. And then D says, don't listen to what they say, out of the five of us four are lying. So let's say that he's saying D is a liar as well, and then E just says that everybody's a liar. So in theory, none of them are telling the truth. There we go. Nope, there is at least one telling the truth. Ah, uh, I suppose I thought wrong. But if they're all saying that they uh, got rotten liars, then they're all lying. I think E's telling the truth. If she says that all of them are liars, then she's telling the truth that they're all lying. One. Look, here's my answer. Hey, it's one. Critical I'm guessing it's E because he says that everybody's a liar. That's right, every suspect accused a different number of people. If anyone was telling the truth, there had to be one suspect, no more or less. The only suspect whose statement fits that condition is D. It looks like he's a free man. Though. Huh, I suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle to solve. You do bet you'd do best to use that brain of yours to find a golden apple that everyone is buzz about. Another strange because we have five subjects is now in the puzzle. Give me two seconds. Right. Right then. So let's speak to Lady Dahlia. <laughs> Pardon me, but we have happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby, the, the one in the next room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Huh? My apologies, madame. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go and find a more and bring him back, would you? If that's not Lady Dahlia in the photograph, who on earth could it be? I think we do. We do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he could clear this up for us. Alright, we'll actually find the butler in the next episode because this is getting to the quarter of an hour now, so I think we should save. We've got journal items. The murder. So. Anything else? No. Okay. So. We're doing quite well for so far. As far as speedrunning goes, we're doing terrible. <laughs> yes, I will be speedrunning this game, by the way, it seems fun. So, but I think this should end the episode here, so... Thank you so much for watching this episode of Professor Layson and the Curious Village. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot if you do get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. But until then, 
Goodbye.